Oh, I forgot. I'm Mark. <laughs> That's Ian. <laughs> and this is beautiful Algonquin Provincial Park. We're traveling through Canada's oldest provincial park in search of history from generations past. Remnants of an alligator. Find out when this was built and for what purpose it was for. Oh, wow, look at that. Join us on this adventure full of history, natural beauty, and all things Algonquin. Let's go camping. That'll dry in a hurry. Yeah! Titanium! Ah! Now this is solitude. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Good. We're getting close to uh, having a puddle on our doorstep. Don't push it too much. I'm hanging on. Yeah. <laughs> This is Mark in the Park. That was awesome! First morning on the uh, lake. Ready for jump off. And this is the view I wake up to. Another glorious day in September. I think it just gets keep it keeps getting better. I know, yeah. It's just and it's gonna get better. Yeah. Mm. You can definitely see you know what inspired the group of seven to come up here. Like every part of the day has got something yeah. different and it's just so beautiful. Just all the different layers. I slept so well last night. First time I've slept as well since I was in the park the week before last. Oh, it's great. 
Oh, I feel so good. I'm ready for this day. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna toil and sweat and curse and we're gonna have fun. <laughs> so Mark, what's the route today? The route? Yeah. Pain. Oh God. <laughs> we're going up the Petawawa River. All the way here, five portages in the Catfish Lake. So we got this one here, the 715 meter. <laughs> Up beside some beautiful falls. It depends how much water is cascading down. Then we got the uh, 300 meter, which is just up and over. Again, more falls and rapids. And then we got the Unicorn Hill, the 2300 something meter pain portage, up, continuing up the river. And then we got a nice little paddle through Narrow Bag Lake with a smaller portage. 175 meter into that lake and then the last one into catfish which is like 80 something meters so yeah so this is like pain this is a little bit of pain this is a lot of pain this is relief and pain and then this is like a big sigh and we'll probably have lunch maybe at the 175 meter depending on how bad the bugs are because there shouldn't be bugs, but there's bugs today. Yeah. And it's raining and it's crappy. Look at the lake now. It's a lot different than what it was earlier. Yeah, say goodbye to the sun. So. But the rain we've had so far today has been pretty good. If it stays like this all day, like showers here and here on and off, that's actually, I can deal with that. That's actually a good day, so. Are you ready? Yeah, by the uh, 80 meter, we should be uh, well versed. In yeah, either that down. or you're gonna wanna like kill me. <laughs> <laughs> So you want, okay, let's go, man. Let's do it. Yeah. Here you go, stepping in the middle, that's awesome. Very good, sir. Okay, I'm getting in. I'm pushing off. And I have dry feet. Just getting ready to get out on our first portage of the day. June 1888, wow. Uh, June 1st. June 1st, 1888. Yeah, long time ago. I was uh, eight years old, or would have been turning eight years old on June 10th. Huh? I, I was, oh. I, I would have been turning eight on like nine days after. Well, you were born in 1888? Yeah, right? 1880. This is 1880, not 1980. Oh, sorry. <laughs> in my defense, I just walked uphill quite a ways. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Your brain is just, huh? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Not 1988, yeah. 1888. Oh, nice. This is when men were real men and uh, 
Yeah. I don't know the history behind it. Do you know anything about the history of this fellow that no. passed away? Corbeil, we'll have to look that up. Um, I suspect it was probably during a log drive. Uh, what What do you think IHS stands for? I don't know. In, in his service or something? Or not magic, but there's no M in his majesty, sir. I don't know. First, first portage in Algonquin Park. It was a, it was a wet one, a little warm. Took some layers off, had a little rest, and kept on going. Yeah, you seem to handle it quite well. That's just a little warmer upper. Yeah, the best is yet to come. <laughs> <laughs> There. It's so cool to be standing here because I've actually seen pictures of this this area, and there's there's a there's like a big log chute oh, yeah. that runs pretty much over where we're standing, all the way down to the, where the rocks end into the water, and they would run logs right down the chute and into the next lake. Remarkable, eh? I saw Mark do this at the last portage, but is he grabbing here? Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Yeah. Good job. Job. Hey, you want a bicycle tire? Uh, get I don't going. want to carry anything extra. <laughs> Come on, maybe get us going a little faster. <laughs> okay, maybe we can use it as a swing. So. Two down, three to go. It's not going to work. Um, pull the barrel out again. What if we flip it? Well, flip it. Because yeah, it's curved. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's touching bottom though. Almost. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. You good? Yep. Hang on. Okay, I'm good. Ramming speed. This is uh, good enough normally, but uh, tastes even better when you're really hungry. Yeah. Well, we need some salt and lots of fat. We're gonna lose it on the poor dog. <laughs>
just gotta get off planet Mars here and on to catfish. Mark, what is this? This is a uh, remnants of an old logging dam. Is uh, that a big beam? Yeah. How high would it have come? You think it's falling over? Look, these old nails there? Yeah, I guess it's collapsed that way, yeah. Might have been quite high, like, well, spring water levels. We would not, we would not have seen this. I've never seen a water this low, I mean. You might see the top from that way, though. Imagine the dam is probably up to here or higher. Made into the bank there. Yeah. Oh, I see him, yeah. Got a big egg sack underneath him. We're here, we made it. We're on Catfish Lake and it's looking kind of gray and rainy to the west again. Oh well, okay. We just spend another 20, 30 minutes and paddling around looking for a campsite and then we can set up shop for the night. So we're here, and uh, check this out, Ian. Wow. Remnants of an alligator. It was a steam-powered uh, boat that could haul log booms across lakes and down rivers, and you're probably wondering what's it doing up here. It actually had the ability to winch itself over land, so it can move from one water body to another. And Amazing. I guess when they were done with it, they decided to beach it. So I guess this was the main boiler. Yeah, you can see where they had tubes that would heat up the water and would create the steam. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah. And then they had a paddle wheel. Is yeah, that... yeah, yeah. And all the gears. Yeah. That's amazing. It's... That might have been part of the winch system there. Yeah, look at this, big paddle wheels. And uh, I guess that's the stack. All the wooden structure is just long, long gone. But there's another one uh, that we're going to see in a few days from now on Burntwood Lake, and it's much, in much better shape than this. Come on, you can do it. Oh, oh, you can do it. Good man. <laughs> been dry the whole trip? I'm trying to keep it that way. That's uh, gonna change. <laughs> Not, I don't want it, these, these shoes are my dry shoes. Oh, you should be wearing them. I know. <laughs> you should be wearing oh. your wet shoes. It's just that it was so cold out. Yeah. I didn't want to put my sandals on. Oh, okay, yeah, sandals. Mark, we're at our first campsite, and yeah. somebody left their sweater here. Yeah, on Catfish Lake. Uh, oh, Misty Mountain. Active, technical active wear. Hmm. Not very active right now, is it? <laughs> not very active. I really like this site because there's not a drop of wind in here. We're facing northeast, and we're not getting any of the west wind. Uh, we just saw, got lots of red pines in here. Uh, it looks like this site's already been uh, set up by rangers many, many years ago. So this is a very level spot. It's got a, a beam of timber here just to help hold it up, keep the erosion at bay. The so water will just drain off if it rains. As you look around above you, there's no widow makers, we like to call them. Trees that right. fall down and kill you and make, <laughs> make your wife a widow. So there's none of that stuff going on. You got some big strong trees around us. It should be provide a lot of protection. All right. Hmm. So, so what's what the think? first order of business? Uh, bring our pack and food pack up here 
and uh, start unpacking, set up our tent, um, seating bag, air mattress, get out of our wet clothes, change into our dry clothes. I want to dry my feet off. They're getting kind of cold now and wet all day. And uh, once that's done, we can start collecting firewood and uh, we'll get a fire going, warm up, uh, start cooking dinner. Sounds good. And then uh, eat dinner, relax, and for a bit before we go to bed. And we do it all over again tomorrow. Mark, I'm really hungry. What's for supper? Oh man, I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Ian, look, Metasaurus. Aren't those the biggest pork loins you've ever seen? Woohoo! I think those will do. Yeah, after pork toss like that, you deserve this, man. <laughs> I marinated these uh, honey garlic. Uh, overnight and then I froze them and wrapped it in newspaper <laughs> you know even though it was in a in a baggie and put it on here on the foil I need more foil <laughs> all these for 10 minutes and we cut them up and we put them in foil a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt a little bit of butter a little bit of garlic powder throw them in the coals mm -hmm, good yum 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 <laughs> Just reading the Algonquin newspaper while I'm waiting for the potatoes to boil. Lovely day. I see a bit of blue sky. Good sight, eh? No wind. Fantastic. Nice mm -hmm. pick. I haven't seen any of these yet. I, I don't know. I just... Is this like false advertising? Because I don't see moose in the park anymore. What's going on? Uh, not even any nodding moose, you know, the ones. <laughs> you didn't order any? You didn't order any. <laughs> gotta put the fresh batteries in the nodding moose. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put, you know, put your requisition in. Oh, for, you gotta reserve, you gotta reserve your moose sighting, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> That's amazing. Very good. Thank you, Mark. You're well, you're most welcome, sir. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's tasty. There's a lot of flavor in there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's a good night tonight. just started raining and just dumped on us and uh, all the gear was getting wet so we just threw everything into a tent and uh, we're just gonna oh, get, get settled here That's quite a day yesterday. Eh? It was quite a day. Yeah. It started off great. Yeah. That was a beautiful sunrise. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, and we we set off and went on our way and did got to the first portage and yeah got through through that. It wasn't too bad. A bit of an uphill hike though, eh? Yeah, it was. It was, but manageable. Yeah. And then um, <clears throat> continued on our way. Uh, then we hit the big one. Yeah, there was another small one in between. Yeah. I believe that was a 300 meter. And then we had the big one, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it was raining off and on the whole time. So yeah. people might not have seen that, uh, all of it, but there was, it was quite a distance that we traveled. Yeah, it was, uh, like... I think the crew kind of the TV, you know, we are show, shooting a TV show, so the the TV crew kind of slowed us down a bit. It was just they have a lot of gear and it's super heavy, so it took us 90 minutes to do the 2.3 kilometer portage. And I was saying, you know, we should be able to do it in under 45, so we doubled our time. And it was a bit wet, and uh, even I couldn't uh, single carry my pack and canoe the whole way. I'm not 30 something anymore. <laughs> And I think we were just tired, but uh, it was a good day. We made a lot of progress. Yep. Saw some cool stuff. Yes, we saw a couple of otters. Yep. That was really neat on Narrow Bag Lake on our way up to Catfish. Um, and the. Oh yes, we saw the deer. alligator. Yeah. Yes, that's right. There were the <laughs> remains of the <laughs> alligator. What did you think of that? I, it was amazing to see. It was. It was very so cool. And it's just like I don't know how old that is. Like I'm. Saying, guessing somewhere maybe 50, 60 years old, maybe more. Yeah. But it's pretty neat how they, you know, way back when, then, they would haul his stuff up into the park and go about the business of, you know, bringing timber out of the forest and into the modern world. It's neat trying to imagine it all together and then you see it, it's just falling apart. And But the metal's all still there. Yeah. And all the uh, wood, there was no wood left at all. Yep. It was all gone. Uh, and so, we made it to camp. Yeah, we got to camp. Uh, I guess it was around f before 5:30, 5 5:30 ish. And uh, I collected some firewood. Tents up. And Ian chopped the firewood. Yeah, I parboiled the potatoes and wrapped those up in foil. And then the same thing with the pork loin. And Ian looked after that once the fire was in there. He got the fire going, looking after it. Really, then that really was well. a well-deserved meal. It was amazing. How'd you like? Yeah, that yeah, was, that was good. That eh? was good. Yeah, that's uh, big that portages meat. call for big meals. <laughs> you need those calories. Get that protein man. back in and the yeah. fat for the pro for the calories. Yeah, and uh, we finished dinner and then we quickly did the dishes and as soon as we were done, yeah, it just opened up. The skies were just crazy. Yeah. Um, Get everything inside the tent. Yeah, we were chased into the tents. Yeah. We just basically were throwing stuff in the packs, throwing stuff in the vestibule, throwing stuff in the tent, 
Um, we didn't set up a tarp because we had figured the rain was done for the day and we were just so busy setting up camp. Like we were eating in the dark and we just figured we'd go to bed afterwards anyways, which we kind of were forced to. <laughs> and um, But normally we would have had more time to set up a tarp and stuff, but we were just like, let's just get dinner going. Uh, collect the firewood, get the dinner going, eat, and then maybe go to bed, and it just, it, the rain accelerated the process. And then it rained quite hard for, I don't know, a couple hours. Eventually I fell asleep, and I was woken up this morning at 3 a.m. to get more rain. And then Mother Nature was calling, and I fought the temptation for about an hour, and around 4.30 this morning, it's like, okay, I got to get up. <laughs> and but having that, you know, having that tarp, Having yeah. bringing a tarp along is is really key. Yeah, you have to, you know, plan ahead, and you know it would have been it would have made the night maybe a little bit more enjoyable because you would have been able to sit out at the fire. Yeah, I mean the fire was going great. It was, yeah. And yeah. it would have been nice to just you know decompress for a little bit and listen. The like the loons were going even in the rain. Yeah, there was a lot of loon calls last night and through the night and yeah. the early morning this morning. It was very ethereal, like it woke me out of a sleep and I actually thought I was dreaming hearing loons <laughs> and it was actually, I was like half asleep, half awake. It was really amazing. So what's our next task? What's our next um, route? Well, we're going to be on the move, and uh, we're going to head to Burnt Root Lake, and um, we're going to pack up here, and I think we got five somewhat pretty easy portages, not like yesterday at all. I mean, yesterday was all about getting up and into Catfish Lake, or going up in elevation, so um, I've been this way several times, and I know that like uh, when you come from Canoe Lake and you're going north into Brent, you're actually going downhill pretty much all the way. Now we're kind of doing the reverse, mm -hmm. but uh, we're not going to Canoe Lake. We're going the only far south that we're going is probably uh, Red Pine Bay or Lake Lemire eventually, and then we'll start turning east and heading up north again. But uh, it should be a really uh, it should be an easy day today, an easier day today. But I think it's going to be a wet day. Like I think we're going to have to be getting lots of in and out of the canoe, and we're going to have to get our feet wet. As for the weather, well, I think it's got its own mind about what to do today because it was supposed to be nice and sunny and even while we're doing this this morning, it's uh, sprinkling. I think there's like one little opening in the clouds and that's it. Yeah. Over there, I would not want to be further north. As a matter of fact, I feel or a bit east. of drizzle over east? again right now. That's east down there. Okay. That's north up yeah. there, yeah. Uh, well... Do you have any hopes for what we'll see today? Oh, I'm hoping. I'm always hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I we're going to be going up again, up the Petawawa River watershed into Burnt Root. So I'm hopeful that uh, maybe we'll see some more wildlife, maybe yeah. something bigger and better than otters. Not that there was anything wrong with otters. It was nice to see them. I haven't seen otters in a while, so it was kind of neat to see. They were very curious. Yes. They came a little closer, and then they kind of like under the water, and, yeah. and then they popped up further away. They chickened out. They always pop up, and then they just <laughs> like leap up a little higher to get a better look at you. Like, what's going on over there? Who are you? And, yeah. And uh, well, we'll see, and we'll see what the weather does. But we're prepared for it. But everything is damp. You know, my dry clothes are damp. My wet yep. clothes are dry. But they're yeah. not going to be dry for very long. So it's like your whole plan for what you're going to wear and what you're going to. It just you kind of got to adjust as you go. Yeah, I've had some trips where everything goes by the numbers, and then other trips where your plans fall apart and you have to make adjustments along the way. And I think that this is the kind of trip we're going to have, which is actually probably a good learning curve for you because yeah. you can see how when things go wonky, how you can correct them to make things go better. And I think that's what this trip's going to do for us. Cool. We're going to work things through. Uh, yeah. You right. ready for the Thanks. day? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. Okay, man. Uh, I think I need another coffee. <laughs> <laughs>